first guest today is former boxing promoter Kelly Maloney, who recently revealed that last October she had tried to take her own life. And today she joins us to explain what drove her to that point and why she now feels strong enough to speak out in the hope of helping others. Please welcome Kelly Maloney. <laughs> So good to see you, Kelly. And actually, I can't quite believe we're just talking about October. That's not that long ago, really. And and a lot, a lot has happened since then. Yeah. But you feel you're in a very good place at this point, which is why you're wanting to share your story. But clearly, there, were, there was a very dark time as yeah, well. Yeah, I, th I think, obviously, I, when I transitioned, I was very happy. And um, obviously, the paper headlines were wrong. What I was doing when they were interviewing was comparing my life as life as Frank and what life was like now this as This is Kelly. referring to the fact that the papers said that you were having regrets at transitioning, yes. Yes. which you're yeah. saying that that's not I, that, true. That was totally no. not yeah. true no. at all. Um, you know, because Kelly is who I am. Of course. It was who I was as Frank, mm. but was, I kept her locked up. And um, I was comparing the two lifestyles and I was just saying, as Frank, you know, I obviously lived a very exciting life. But if you look at the pictures of Frank and Kelly, Kelly was always is always much happier than Frank was, because I was sort of living a lie, mm. and um, I was comparing it. But like editors, they love sensational headlines, yeah. and that wasn't the headline they actually showed me. Do you mean that there was more, perhaps more acceptance? Though, although you to yourself, you were living a, 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 a life that wasn't you, with a person that wasn't you. But regards the public and society in general. You maybe missed that there was more acceptance of the of, of when you were frank in the life that you were leading. Yeah, I think I think a lot of people still f struggle with accepting trans yep. people. Mm. It's still quite hard. Um, you know, I've had friends on this journey who I met at my support group, and I met, and unfortunately, they did take their lives. Um, yeah. You know, we do have the highest rate of suicide of, yeah. in, of, of any group, um, and it's it's very hard for people. who to come out and to be yeah. accepted. I've been very lucky because of my family and the support team that around me. But I do have a dark cloud over me every so often. And, and what was that point, though, um, Kelly, that you felt that you, you just... You talk about this family, who, and you're very close with your family, like we, we say, but what made you want to, to end that? You know, I don't know. I, I sort of... When I transitioned, I built this wall around myself mm. and I, as a sort of a form of protection. And I was very careful who I let into this wall, in between this wall. And I was in Portugal quite a lot last summer. And um, I was out drinking with some friends and I met some people. And it really, the wall sort of crumbled down. And mm. they lived a different sort of life to the way I lived. Yeah. They drank a bit more than I did. So I started drinking heavily and, you know, and then, and they kept talking about Frank's life and do I miss mm. that? And it started making me... Yeah. I don't know why yeah. it made me so. I think it's really important for yourself and for the trans community to have that clear, clearly distinguished that it's not about your transition. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. You know, because I know a lot of people who are transitioning or have or are trans now have that real, you know, stigma attached to them that it's, yeah. you know, that, you know, that's, that the mental health, there are two, two separate things. Yeah. And, you know, your mental health is something that, you know, you're, you're looking at now and you're working on yourself and making sure you're surrounding yourself with the right people. But like you were saying, it's not the transition itself. No, the trans, I and mean, I think that's really I'm a much happier yeah. person yeah. now. Much I know it's, it, person, it might sound yeah. silly because of what I've done, yeah. but I was drinking heavily and I was actually at, in the UK doing a talk on mental health because it was the 10th of October mental health mm -hmm. day. And um, I was at the airport and I sort of had a row with someone that was in my life and I started drinking, which I never do at an airport. And when I got home, instead of going home, I went and started to a restaurant and I just sat drank, drinking mm. again. And I went home and I, I sort of went to bed. It was quite late. I was very lucky. I had a friend staying with me, uh, Jan, who was my ex-counsellor for 10 years and we've become friends now. And um, I was laying in bed and I, don't, I picked up my phone and I started looking through pictures of myself yeah. as Frank and, and my life now. Yeah. And, I, and I just thought... I don't know why, I thought, have I messed up my children's life? That, that's what came into my yeah. brain. Have I messed up Tracy's life? Yeah. And alcohol does that, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, you're I not mean, thinking straight, it compounds it, how it makes bad you, you're Yeah, feeling. really yeah. bad. And, you know, if you're drinking two, three bottles of wine a night, it's not very, not very helpful. Mm. And um, I just thought, do you know what? I, I'm a, a madness of 
insanity, I would say, because mm. my counsellor told me that, you know, at that point when you do attempt yeah. to, it, you're actually insane. Yeah. Um, do you agree, though, as well, Kelly, you know, talking of mental health, of which you're a, you're a huge spokesperson for, and I think you do a, 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 brilliant, a brilliant job outside and within the trans community, but most people um, who try to take their own lives, it's not that they want to die, it's that they want the pain to stop. Yeah, I think it's... They um, just want the pain to yeah. stop. I don't know what it was. It was dark, I was... My dogs were laying in my bedroom who were very close to me. <laughs> um, and I don't know, I started taking all these different pills and um, I was drinking the wine straight from the bottle. And then next thing I knew, I'd run out of wine. So I went to the fridge and um, Jan must have heard me and she came out, she didn't say anything. And she just stood behind me and I picked up another bottle. And my oldest dog was laying in the, in the front room. But it, so I went over to stroke, my, to stroke him to say goodbye to him. Um, I don't even know how why I was thinking like that. And I turned to walk back and I just passed out. And then the next thing I knew, I woke up in a hospital in Faro. Thank goodness. Um, Thank goodness, goodness, Kelly, that your friend was in the mm. house yeah. at the time, was aware of something. Well, how she got the ambulance to work? Because I live in the middle of no I live yeah. there in the middle of nowhere. Well, again, <laughs> it was it was absolutely meant to be yeah. that your friend was there. Yeah. And you ended up then in in, um, in hospital, a place that you just did not want to be. And something really struck you that life had to change in that moment. Yeah, uh, well, my daughter flew out, obviously, Emma, and I, you know, and we talked and she, she said, why are you doing this, Dad? We need you in our life, yeah. you know, and... Um, Sometimes you just need to hear you that. You need to yeah. hear that, don't you? You know, and she sent me something, which I always read now when I sort of get depressed, um, or still get low, and I think it's quite um, good. It's... I've got to find it now. I'm terrible at these things. Oh, here it is. Um, don't forget, you are human. It's OK to have a meltdown. Just don't live there. Cry and talk it out. Then reflect on where you're heading. And I think that's really helped me. Yeah. So where, where are you? How are you now? And where are you heading? Now I'm very good. Well, good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm very... I'm good now. You know, I've, I've sorted my life out. Um, You've moved house. I've moved house because yeah. I had to move house because when I came back, because I went to a psychiatric hospital in Portugal and that was the most frightening thing I've ever witnessed in my life. Imagine. It was yeah. like going More back More frightening in... than Celebrity Masterchef. <laughs> <laughs> uh, on par. Because I can't yeah. imagine <laughs> oh, anything wow. more scary than <laughs> <Okay>. doing that. <laughs> on par, well, you, you know, you've got Greg Wallace in Masterchef. It's like mm. one of those that's walking around that hospital. <laughs> 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 Sorry, Greg. <laughs> um, no, and... Um, and you've got animals as well now on your farm. You've got a farm... Yeah. I've got a small holding, yes. Yeah, yeah. so I've got four um, But that really dogs. helps, though, doesn't yeah. it? Some yeah. sort of like... And two miniature goats that I... Um, yeah. But my goats have got gender issues, I was told. <laughs> <laughs> Many and <laughs> well, one, they, one that they both arrived. And I was told one was a male and one was a female, so we called one Minnie and one Mickey. And then all of a sudden, a goat expert came down because I need to extend their run. And I said, Oh, that's Mickey. And he went, like, and I said, What do you mean that? He went, No, it's a female. So I texted my daughter and she went, It could only happen in our family. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have a goat with gender issues. Okay, we're incredibly pleased that you're sitting here so healthy and happy and knowing your worth more importantly and, and that you wanted to share your story because I know that's you. what you feel well, it's, very it, passionately I hope it helps about. It will. Yeah. It absolutely will. Um, and there'll be lots of people sitting at home um, very grateful that you did. Thank so you. thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.